The Lord be with you. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. <clears throat> As Jesus and his disciples were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him, and he will be raised on the third day. And they were overwhelmed with grief. When they came to Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax approached Peter and said, Does your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he said. When he came into the house, before he had time to speak, Jesus asked him, What is your opinion, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take tolls of or census tax? From their subjects or from foreigners? When he said from foreigners, Jesus said to him, Then the subjects are exempt, but that we may not offend them, go to the sea, drop in a hook, and take the first fish that comes up. Open its mouth, and you will find a coin worth twice the temple tax. Give that to them for me and for you. This is the good news of our salvation. We all realize that in the New Testament, in the different Gospels, there are episodes where Jesus is interacting with Peter. I recall in the, the Gospel of St. Luke how Jesus called Peter again after a catch of fish and Peter was amazed and he knew he was in the presence of the sacred so he said to Jesus after that miracle depart from me for I am a sinner Peter said, uh, Jesus said to Peter, No, come follow me. You will be a fisher of men. Then we know in the Gospel of St. Matthew in the 16th chapter, after uh, Jesus uh, said, Will you go away from me? Peter, as a spokesperson for all the disciples, answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. But we also know that Peter went through a crisis in his faith with Jesus. Because during the arrest of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane after the Last Supper, when Peter followed him to the house of the high priest, he denied three times that he even knew him. And we know afterwards in the Gospel of St. John that Peter was reconciled after confessing three times to Jesus, the risen Jesus, that he loved him. This episode however, has a different meaning. It shows the solidarity of friendship, indeed intimacy, between Jesus and Peter. 
But you can ask the question, why did St. Matthew alone preserve this event in our Lord's earthly ministry? And the scripture scholars tell us it was for the community of St. Matthew. He was teaching the members of his community an important lesson for them as they were baptized and entered in to the church, to the community of God, to the kingdom of God. Among the new members, they were asking a question, what is our relationship now with our national identity, with our citizenship in the earthly kingdoms of this world? What is, therefore, our citizenship in the new kingdom, the kingdom of Jesus? And St. Matthew wanted to use this example to tell them, actually, they are members of two kingdoms, the kingdom of this world, our natural, natural uh, society, our nation, our country, and we should be devoted to that as good patriots, following the laws and honesty and justice. And that is the way we prove our love for the other members of our society. And at the same time, we put first our citizenship in heaven because that is the great mystery that we're living because of our faith we realize that we are members of the communion of saints and through the holy spirit we are united with those saints in heaven we are united also with the souls in purgatory and then we're united throughout the whole world with other members of the church on pilgrimage to eternal life. So our obligations are not just one to one type of society. We have two that we belong to. Our natural human endeavors and we should fulfill our responsibilities there with integrity, generosity, service, not being corrupt or self-centered as good citizens of our country and our local communities. But at the same time, our motivation is not just that we love our country, our motivation goes much deeper in our love of Jesus and through him we are members of the new family of God where God is our father mother Mary is our mother and Jesus is our brother and this is most important for us to learn in our own experience as we become wise not only on the human level but on the Christian level. How do we integrate our citizenship in this world and our citizenship in the world to come where we are on the way to eternal life, where we will experience our loved ones who have preceded us and we will be able to interlate in a very wonderful way with our Heavenly Father, with Jesus, Mother Mary, and other members of our family who have preceded us. The great mystery that Jesus is teaching in today's Gospel is the interrelationship of these two kingdoms.